corporations shouldn't be allowed to make these decisions on their own. <laughs> well, who should? The people who eat the bread. This wouldn't happen if there were centralized control over all these big corporations. Are you suggesting a communist form of government in Texas? I suppose I am. Oh dear God. We have a viral video from somebody on TikTok, which is being shared primarily by people on the right who primarily find this person to be stupid and her opinions worthless. And that's generally the way that it works with these uh, TikTok videos, of course. And very often, the people are stupid and their opinions are effectively worthless. But in this case, I think that there's um, a little bit more to be said about it. So let's first watch the clip. All I can ever think about is the fact that this is not the way that life is supposed to be. The whole working your life away just to have a little bit of money, a little bit of free time to do things that you actually enjoy. It's such a waste of life. And the older generation will be the first to call my generation lazy for saying things like that, not realizing that they're just a bitch to capitalism and they're brainwashed. It's all nothing but a capitalist hellscape that sucks the life out of everyone. I just hate all of this. I hate my ancestors. I hate everything that has happened throughout history to get us to this point. Okay, well, she uh, gets a few things wrong here, just a few, starting most importantly with the very common misconception that, that happiness means having a lot of free time to do what you want. You can't always get what you want. If that was true, then virtually no one who ever lived on Earth up until the industrial age, at least, was happy. Because free time, as she conceives it, is an extremely modern phenomenon. We think of free time as time without any kind of work at all. Time dedicated to total and complete leisure. That's free time to us. Free time is sitting on the couch for hours, ordering food on DoorDash, relaxing in a very sedentary position. But historically, unless you were like a, a pharaoh or a Roman emperor or something, that kind of leisure, that kind of free time was not on the menu. Indeed, this kind of free time is an invention of our modern Western capitalist system. She wants free time, but she hates the thing that gives her free time. She's also wrong, of course, in her hatred of our ancestors. To hate your own ancestors, it's to be a branch that curses the roots of the tree that you're attached to. You would not have your existence at all without your ancestors. You would have neither the positives nor the negatives. You would have nothing and be nothing. And as it happens, in the case of this girl and all the rest of us, we can thank our ancestors for many more positives than negatives, as we already established all the things that she has and supposedly likes and wants more of, free time, leisure, etc., she only has because of the work, innovation, and sacrifice of the ancestors whose graves she now spits on. I'll spit on your grave, Grandma. And most of the things that she doesn't want and complains about, work, hardship, she would have that no matter what choices her ancestors made given that these are fundamental realities of human existence. But she's not wrong about everything. He's kidding, right? She makes the point, and it's a profound one, that many people in modern society are effectively helpless. They cannot do anything for themselves. They have no skills. They have no capacity to be self-sufficient. And even those who are most skilled and most self-sufficient still rely heavily on giant institutions and corporations to provide them with so many things. And while this is all happening, we've also become more isolated, less community-focused. We don't even... Many of us know our neighbors who live next door. The social experience has migrated online into our phones behind the screen where we can connect with people, but that connection is always limited by the technology that facilitates it, and nothing feels exactly real. Hello, I'm here. Oh, hi. She seems to have noticed all of this, and it's good that she's noticed it. But the next step for anyone who notices this problem is to do something about it. You can develop skills. You can learn to, to care for yourself to a great extent. You can even form families and communities. All of this is possible. Modern society offers a certain way to live, a way that's easy but empty. And we can take it up on that offer or not. You don't have to be miserable or alone or helpless. That's not a requirement. It's an item on the menu. The others just take discipline and effort, which is a price that many people, including this girl, uh, at this point, don't want to pay. And that is why she is still, ultimately, unfortunately, today, canceled. You know what company's looking out for you when they actually upgrade your service and they don't charge you for it? Pure Talk just added data to every new and existing plan. They're also including a mobile hotspot with each new plan as well, with no price increase whatsoever. If you've considered Pure Talk before, but you haven't made the switch, you need to take a look again. For just $20 a month, you'll get unlimited talk, text, and now 50% more 5G data plus a mobile hotspot. I love Pure Talk. Not only do they offer great services, but they also happen to be veteran-owned, and they only hire 
hire the best United States-based customer service team available. Remember, you vote with how you spend your money, so stop supporting woke wireless companies that don't support you. When you go to puretalk.com slash Walsh, you'll save an additional 50% off your first month because they actually value you. That's puretalk.com slash Walsh. Pure Talk, wireless for Americans by Americans. It's sick and twisted that I have to work just to survive, just to live my life for basic necessities. Like, I don't want to work until the day I die just to eat and sleep. Basic human necessities, it shouldn't be controversial. Free housing, free health care shouldn't be a pipe dream. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you should be doing this or that. No. Like, what if I don't want to be rich? What if I want to achieve shit? I still have to work till the day I die just to live, just to survive. And I don't want to be told that I'm ungrateful, that I should be happy to have a job where it's taking up 40 hours of my week. 40 hours of my week? People that complain about a 40 hour week job, they blow my mind. Do you know how, you know how lucky you are? I know he said, I don't, I don't want to be told that I should be grateful. Well, you should be grateful, you brat. I can't even, like, conceive of only doing 40 hours of work in a week. Okay, so we have, again, a young man who appears to be well-fed, appears to be living in some kind of comfortable shelter, presumably a house or an apartment, and who is obviously blessed with any number of luxuries, like a phone, internet connection, we can assume copious amounts of hair product. He has all of this, and yet doesn't believe that work should be a requirement to maintain it. It's sick and twisted that he should have to work just to live, let alone to afford his hair conditioner. As I've often said in response to these kinds of disturbingly common complaints from his generation, bitching about the fact that you have to work is like bitching about the fact that you have to breathe. You might as well make a video whining like, uh, You're telling me I have to breathe every second of the day just to live? Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale all the time just to live? What if I don't want to breathe? What if I want to live at the bottom of the ocean like a starfish? For doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else, Patrick, this trophy's for you! Why should breathing be a requirement? This is sick and twisted. It'd be a lot easier if we didn't have to do any of that. It'd be easier if we could exist as immortal, indestructible supermen who need nothing and want nothing and can do anything without expending any energy at all. That would be nice, but that is not how things are or will ever be. It doesn't work that way. We've talked about Mr. Hare and, uh, you know, and, and why he cannot have what he wants. He cannot, he cannot have the sort of existence that he feels entitled to. But let's, let's not allow that to distract us from a more important point. As a young man, you shouldn't want to not work. You shouldn't want to coast through life. He says he doesn't want to achieve anything. And in that lack of ambition, in that mentality, he is, he is joined, unfortunately, by many in his generation. But it is a deeply depraved mentality. It is not natural. It is not normal. Or at least it shouldn't be. As a young man, you should have big dreams and goals. You should have designs on like conquering the world. You, you may lack wisdom and experience, but you should not lack for ambition. I mean, that's the one thing you should not lack for. We, we got an entire generation addicted to phones practically from birth, and as a result, we destroyed, for many of them, any hope that they, that they might become successful. And along with that, we destroyed civilization as well. But the good news is, the aliens are just going to vaporize us anyway. So, in the meantime, however, Mr. Hare is canceled. Well, have you ever worked with dreads before? What you do? In the ice. We got you. And we finish him. 